I am Dr. Sanjal Desai, Assistant Professor in the Division of Hematology, Oncology and Transplantation at University of Minnesota. I am a clinical investigator with principal focused, uh, focus on aggressive V-cell lymphoma and Hodgkin lymphoma. At ASH 2023, I uh, presented results of our collaborative multicenter retrospective study um, where we looked at um, outcomes of relapsed refractory classic Hodgkin lymphoma patients who undergo autologous stem cell transplant. These are the patients uh, of Hodgkin lymphoma who uh, get their disease back after receiving their first line of treatment, which is usually a, either a chemoimmunotherapy or a chemotherapy regimen. Standard of care option for these patients is receiving more high dose chemotherapy, and then uh, if they respond to that, they go for some uh, autologous stem, stem cell transplant consolidation. Recently, Multiple uh, tri clinical trials have shown that new uh, medications, novel regimens um, as uh, salvage therapy regimens such as in, um, regimens containing PD-1 inhibitors or a regimen containing brentuximab vedotin have uh, encouraging response rates and survival uh, in patients of relapsed Hodgkin lymphoma who go for autologous stem cell transplant. However, we do not have any randomized trials yet comparing these novel uh, or new regimens to conventional chemotherapy-based regimens that we have been using for years. In collaboration with five, uh, the other, uh, five academic institutions in the United States, I, um, um, we uh, generated a data set, a retrospective um, a study of patients um, of relapsed refractory Hodgkin lymphoma. And we looked at outcomes of uh, patients who re receive new regimens such as uh, PD-1 blocker-based regimen or brentuximab vedotin based regimen and com uh, compared the outcomes to patients who received chemotherapy-based salvage regimen before transplant. And we saw that patients who received new regimens such as PD-1 inhibitor-based regimen or brentuximab vedotin based regimen um, had um, a lower likelihood of uh, uh, progression after transplant, which means that these patients had a uh, lower likelihood of uh, their Hodgkin lymphoma coming back after going through transplant. These results were uh, only true for patients who received PD-1 inhibitor either with brentuximab vedotin or PD-1 inhibitor with chemotherapy. Um, patients who received only brentuximab vedotin without PD-1 inhibitors had very similar outcomes to patients who would receive chemotherapy. So uh, it, we found that patient, uh, PD-1 inhibitor-based regimen before transplant uh, will reduce uh, likelihood of uh, relapse after transplant, which means that it re reduces likelihood of the uh, Hodgkin lymphoma coming back after autologous stem cell transplant.